Alright, a time for a Graves game. Uh, this will be a beginner's guide to Graves, meaning I will explain everything in as much detail as I can. Uh, ELO of this game is going to be platinum, thereabouts, uh, so you guys are aware. And yeah, I'll be facing a Hecarim here, which should be fine. Going face rush as well, fair enough. Uh, Graves does have like some issues that I just wanted to make sure to say beforehand. He used to be stronger, but then they kind of just nerfed his main items. Like the Ghostblade nerf kind of feels like a direct Graves nerf because for ranged champions, it, the movement speed on it is halved. So you kind of change your build up a bit to make it better, um, which is what I'll be doing here. Obviously, you have the Relentless Hunter gives me out of combat movement speed. This will stack very well with the item we're going for, which is going to the first one I'm going for is Opportunity. Uh, this will be the same gold cost as. Um, this ghost plate is, but it gives you consistent move, movement speed, and on kill it gives like a very large movement speed boost to get out as well. Uh, so it's like a better item basically for for Grave specifically to go opportunity instead of ghost plate for like the similar purposes of having that extra added mobility. Also take the blue smite for that extra movement speed. Relentless stacks with it too, so you're just gonna have like good consistent movement speed. I should probably actually be smart and tank the. Uh, or like push the red buff down. Graves' is auto attack push camps, as you can see. So you want to try to push it. If Blitz goes for like a hook or something, I'm going to have to respect that. Uh, so that's why I'm like pushing it down and potentially tanking the hook from the other side. Auto attack here to extend. Obviously, we're going to try to go for the fight here. I mean, this is just whatever happens, happens. This Urgold is going to die anyway. The Jinx made a very bad decision running the way she did. That's going to be a free kill for me. One more hit. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. The Jinx should have ran left towards the turret instead of trying to run towards her other turrets. She would have been fine if she did that, but she didn't do that. So, a rip. One of those is just like, okay, we just go for it, right? Fight situation-wise, we just have to send it. We'll be delayed now on our clear, though, for sure, which is a bit of a problem, perhaps. I might actually want to adjust based on that. I think I will, slightly. We're gonna still do Raptors, though. Uh, true Grit is something you get every time you dash with E, you get a True Grit stack, which gives you armor. Uh, these obviously time out, and you wanna try to use your E as much as possible to extend them throughout your clear. So, that is something to look for, for sure. I'm not gonna use my E now, because I'd wanna have it when I'm, like, dashing towards this other jungle side here. Finish it off there, move over, and then right before it, like, ends, you wanna E. To extend if you want to close big distances. Uh, I'm just going to finish my clear now. There's a, maybe a chance Hecarim decided to go for an invade here. But the thing now is I have a fully stacked true grid. So if he does go in for an invade, I have all of that extra armor it provides me. So this is why this is important. To keep up as much as possible. He did not invade me. That's good. So we just get the clear. That's fine. All right. We're just always trying to be as consistent as possible. Get as much gold as you can. Obviously, we're going to be a bit slower now due to that bot lane situation. But, yeah, for me, it's just important to keep, like, nice, consistent pacing in our CS. And that's going to be the biggest thing. We could look for top lane here. If you want to look for ganks, just smite the last camp you're doing, pretty much. If you don't have a gank opportunity, hold smite for the scuttle. But in this case, we're going to look for top lane, so we just smite this, obviously. And we move up. Can hold my true grid stats a little bit longer here. Slow him. Hold com hold movement speed, hold combat. There you go. What I do there is I make sure to... Okay, wait. I have true grid stack, so I should be okay, maybe. He is a bit scary, though. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I can't fight that. Yeah, that's a bit rough. <laughs> That is a bit rough. It's fair, though. It's fine. Uh, for me right now, that death doesn't particularly matter. Obviously, yes, I give Hecarim a kill, which isn't great. But I need to just catch the respawn of this camp as fast as possible now. That's what I'm doing. Uh, right here, I made sure to Q flash auto attack the guy. Uh, Q first, then flash, which will help you with your placement of your Q. And in that scenario there, I probably should have tried to run away from the Hecarim. But I think I was dead regardless because Ghost is kind of broken. So I don't think I could have outran that. Ooh, wow. Beautiful kill. Ekrim just hard greeted. We take those. Not bad. I'm just gonna catch the respawns of my camps quickly. I might have to go mid. That's This is absolutely wild by my... Okay, he gets the kill in return apparently still. Impressive. I guess that's not too bad of a trade for Malzara then. 
Not too bad. Uh, Hecarim has actually delayed himself a lot now. Uh, right here, like, you have to remember that Graves' auto attack gets blocked by whatever it hits first. So if you try to fight, like, the enemy in a minion wave or try to kill him in a minion wave, you have to flash into melee range pretty much and get him. Because otherwise your auto attack will be blocked by a minion, which is why I flashed on Yasuo like that to get the auto attack off and stuff. Okay, Hecarim is obviously gonna run out of base towards his bot side camps. He is level 5, though, so that's a bit of a scary situation. See, he got a lot of experience from killing both me and Aatrox. Like, by himself, because he didn't have... Like, I don't think Yasuo got assists on either. I'm just gonna finish my camps here. If he could help me, that'd be great, but I don't know if he wants to do this. I might want to just go for the top gank here then. A smoke screen, this way he'll be slowed. He wasted that, that's fine. Not a problem. I just want to ping him to come for this. If they help me, it should be fine. Malzar could just shove the wave for free and then it should be okay. Uh, with Graves, you want to be careful with these small void drops. Try to like hold your Q for it as much as you can to, you know, you know, get them. Because if you're, like, your auto attacks get blocked, right? So the small void drops can block it. Potentially, or you just stand full on melee range like I'm doing right now. My laners are helping me. Graves is not the fastest at doing this, so if you have the priority for it and stuff, it's kind of nice. Just take it, reset, and then this will respawn once again. So I need to make sure I repeat this and just go for that respawn as fast as I can. Right here. I'm gonna actually buy another longsword. Just having all of the extra damage you want to have early on. There's the Hecarim, so he took my red buff. They, they did not respect it after the first ping. I needed to ping more. Okay, lesson learned for bot lane. Jinx was basically forced to flash because she reacted late. He does get my red buff here, but this is not a problem. I obviously get the void drops, uh, which is obviously worth more than one red buff. But now as well, he is delaying himself more and more here. And I could just get a nice next sequence going because my raptors will be respawning here. Everything will be respawning here. So we're just going to sequence it once again. Obviously skipping past the red buff because he took it. Uh, but yeah, we can just do this. And even after this, I can just go for his topside camp now. Because my topside is basically defended. So all I have to do is go for his raptors here. And it should be up as well. Uh, to take that from him. And yeah, not bad, not bad there, you know. This is respawning, obviously, but, like, he took my bot side. He's most likely doing something like Dragon. So we take his entire top side for that. Oh, he's here. Okay, interesting. That is actually... Can't help this, by the way. Like, I just can't help that. Alzar is just gonna die. I'm gonna wait for Hecarim to come back into his jungle here. Most likely just gonna walk for his Raptors first. Yep, and then he goes for his red buff. Dead. Perfect. Completely read him there. Nothing he can do. I don't want to show myself in that situation after he activated Ghost, because if he just goes for me with that burst, that would still hurt me a lot. If I let him go from Alzar first, and then him bounce back towards his own jungle, he's going to realize his raptors are gone. I can just catch him on his red buff spawn and one-shot him like I did. Just, uh, yeah. Uh, it, that's one of those things that you just kind of have to realize the way he's going to move there. You can really outplay him with that situation. Did this guy back all the way off? Like I'm... Ah, he did. I should have dove him then, I guess. I'm, I'll try to walk around, it's fine. Alright. That's a good wind wall. Akron is bot. That's fine. We just clear the wave then. He gets dragon out of this, but, you know, their top laner was absolutely doomed. So I think I actually take the trade here. I don't really mind trading a dragon for, like, an absolutely doomed situation for them on top lane. Take steel caps here. My top side is still up, I realize this, but I'm just gonna clear my bot side camp since these both will be respawning here. He does get dragon, sadly, but... Uh, Malzar needs to be very... I don't know what he's doing. Like, this Malzar full-on disrespected Hecarim, like, completely... It's absolutely wild. 
But that actually is a very, very good Braum play. He just saved his ass. Insane play from Braum right there. Wow. Amazing. Amazing job. This Malzar is blind as hell, though. I will have to say, that is absolutely, like, tunnel vision and a half. Oh, God. Did he just suicide? No, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's fine. Dead. Goodbye. I'm not going to touch this wave because the wave is going to be just fine, I think. Uh, right now, though, Void Grubs will be spawning in 20. I think I just want to clear my bot side, go Void Grubs, and then clear my top side afterwards, pretty much. He gets Dragon, but, like, I really don't care about a Dragon like that. If I can, like, th this is what happens, right? What I just did there completely put a nail in the coffin for a top lane because he misses even more waves. And we kill him, like, there's nothing he can do anymore. Aatrox is going to have a colossal lead, and this is going to snowball for the rest of this game. So trading, like, a dragon for that is completely worth it to me. And now my topside camps are completely defended, so I don't really want to clear them now. I'd rather go for the objective that is, like, on the map here that I want to go for. Okay, try to get in a position here. Smoke screen over the wall. Q. Force him to go back up into the Aatrox. And then ult. Perfect. I hold ult there to finish him. Like, he was going to walk in a specific direction there, so I just finish him with it. I could see if he, like, ults towards the side here or something. I can then ult that too, but, you know. Let's smite that out. And now my topside camps is something I'm going to clear. Make sure I get all of those. I have 7 kill participation out of 14. 6 kills, which is, this is just good for me. Finishing blue smite is something I really want to look to do. That's a huge one. And my entire jungle will basically be up here too. Yeah, ult is a massive range as well, by the way. Like, look. You see the first skill shot, but then also the second. The first one is where the bullet's gonna fly, and then the second one is the cone of the bullet. Obviously, if it connects with something, the range will shorten, but yeah, it's a massive distance. Oh, he's ulting Aurelian Soul over here. He's probably already dead. He is, okay. Go for bot scuttle right now. Also, gotta probably move towards bot lane here, I think. There's the Hecarim. Yes, I kind of expected that one. If I can do something about the situation. Smoke screen, make him blind. Hit this guy. You. I actually need to not let him knock me backwards. That would be quite bad. Burst them all together. And there we go. I tried to line them up and use my ult and my Q at the time they were going to clump together because it's like a, just an AoE cone hit essentially for your skills. So you can Q ult them when they clutter together and then hit everything, which is what allowed me to get the kills there. Like all three of them. If I go for like just one target, that burst clutter like, will kill that target, but it won't kill everything, right? But now because I chose to go for um, like waiting for them to group to dash into the play, I allowed myself to get everything instead. Yeah, he should stand in the bush as well. This is a better place to be. I'm not going to use my skills. I just want to auto attack it down in case like he shows up. We can go blitz here. Yeah, okay. We just I guess we just let him live or something. This could be good, actually, still. Smoke screen, blind them, Q. Dead, perfect. Blitz ran out this way, which is a fair play. They just have a bunch of wards now. I have a large amount of gold. I realize this. Uh, but I, I'm actually just gonna... I think clean this up, at least. How much money do I need for what I currently want? This is my blue smite upgrade. I wanted to do this camp to get the upgrade so I can run out of base faster next time. With the blue smite to hit bushes and stuff. So collector. Yeah, I didn't get to afford that. That's fine. I wanted to see if I could afford the BF sword, but I couldn't. Uh, so we go collector next. Uh, we're going to transition into crit because they buffed crit this patch. And crit is just better than lethality right now, really. Uh, for graves, at least. 
So we're going for this. I'm going to do Raptors in the Dragon here. That's not a good cue. And we're just going to see if we can send the Dragon. Move down towards Bot. The good kill. It's going to be a fear towards... Oh, it's not a fear. His uh, Ergo ill-timed that. That's actually very, very sad for him. But we take those. I'm going to have to go for Dragon here. He could take this. He's obviously going Rift Herald. I knew this. He's also done my top set camps. I also know that. But I just trade for Dragon. It's fine. I don't really care about the Rift Herald. I have no value towards the Rift Herald. I'd rather have a Dragon. But I think if Malzard, like plays this well, Hecarim should never even get the Rift Herald. We could just move up anyway. They need to go for him. Like, Build, please. Click an R. Click, click it. Click it. Malzar, please, man. Just click it. What is the problem? I don't understand. Oh, you clicked it. So, God. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Can this guy not stop dashing, please? Malzar should have just clicked his ult like 35 years faster. It would have been such a free play. I don't understand that one. If he just clicks it on a Rallyon Soul here, like it's just insta fight over. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it is what it is. It's a bit interesting. I think I want to go for his red buff. I think it should be up, right? It's not. Okay, fine. Fair enough. This is also done, apparently. Alright. I really insult a bit of a pain in my ass. This is probably warded. My Braum is not really following me very quickly here. I might be able to walk here. Just gonna clear this. Okay, that's a bit rough, actually. Aatrox dying there is quite bad. Yeah, he's going for it. I need to move quicker. Yeah, finish him off. Perfect. All good. Ooh, wait. Yeah, Aatrox died. Ooh, wait, he going profane Hydra on Aatrox. Interesting. I feel like going Bruiser was a probably a bit more effective, but maybe that's just the Aatrox build these days. It's all good. Just keep clearing, make sure to keep that consistent. My bot set camps are all up, my top set camps are all up. I just want to make sure I clear everything. Get my golden experience income. I have 11 kills. I'm very, very strong. I need to move. Hit the plant. Move, move, move. Dude, that is a disgusting slow, by the way. That Jinx Rocket, Rocket doesn't hit him, damn. I hit the bush now, so I get to finish him off with a QR combination. Need to make sure I'm past the wall to hit that too. Hit the bush means I get the blue smite and movement speed increase. Hit him with the slow. Need to flash backwards, otherwise he hits me with the flip. Where is my team going, actually, by the way? Just a quick FYI. Or a quick uh, wandering. Not FYI, goddammit. I misspeak in my words. I thought my Malzar and my Jinx were moving up a bit faster, but they were a bit slow. Did they stop to, like, hit a ward or something that I didn't realize? Could be possible. I needed to flash there because if I got flipped by Urgold, I'm definitely dead. Because Urgold's execute will deal too much damage to me. Okay, you get it. That's not a problem. Very good Rift Herald use as well. We got a very strong fight push here. My back is going to be insane as well. I'm gonna push this into the turret quickly. There you go. Finish the turret and leave. I need him to back away right now. The inhibitor is not really worth taking right now because at that point the wave will perma shove into them, uh, which gives them free farm, which is not something I'd really want to go for at the moment. Are you? Can you not? Like, that's actually a large amount of XP she just took from me for literally no reason. Alright, interesting. Um, I got Infinity Edge here. This is good. And then we're gonna go for Shield Bow next. Going Shield Bow. Yeah, you want a lifesteal item? Shield Bow is just the best way to go. Uh, armor penetration might be necessary at this point. Like something like uh, Lord Dominix is what I would go for, obviously, for the additional crit. I need to move quick. I need to move very quick. 
That should hit and kill. Wait, it, oh, he still had his blitz shield, I see. It's gonna get the kill, that's fine. I got him with the collector off the smoke screen, fair enough. Whatever. Check all of his camps here. Should, everything should be up, I believe. Yes, it is, perfect. Look at those crits, man, those things hurt. Wanna go for the dragon. I need to make sure I keep up with these objectives right here. Don't give him a chance to do anything at all. 55% crit at the moment. But yeah, shield bow is just the best way to go because it gives a shield as well and Graves is pretty much an in-your-face type playstyle for the most part. So it's definitely something you'd want to focus on. Uh, Bloodthirster is nice but way more risky for no reason. It gives more damage technically but yeah, the shield from the shield bow is amazing. So we just go for that instead. And again, as you can see, I'm fully going crit graves because it just is better now. With the Infinity Edge buff, it just does so much more damage than Lethality Graves does, really. And, to, and it's also just, like, good into anything, even, like, tanky teams and stuff like that. Because, yeah, crit just skills well, obviously. Crit's always skilled well. Okay, move over. Team is playing pretty aggressive. Obviously, going for, like, my top side would be not good here. Definitely want to play with my team forward. Not too far forward. Like, if I walk up here and I get blitz hooked, I might be dead. So I need to be careful of that, at least. That's an ult. Don't get blitz hooked, exactly. I was just waiting for him to hook me, because if he goes for me with the hook there, that's why I walked forward. If he goes for me with the hook there, it's actually very good. Because uh, that doesn't throw his hook on one of my teammates right now. Which is better. Let's walk in this position and see if I can maybe get like someone flanking or trying to flank from the side. Smoke screen. Ah, uh, couldn't get the other auto attack off because he dashed and my auto attack didn't register. Oh, that doesn't kill? Okay, damn. Wait, it does... That, I, I may, it might not proc anymore these days. Whether Collector, he also got a bit of a heal, I believe. It's fine. For me right now, I'm looking to just take as many of Hecarim's camps as I can. Just deny him everything. If he's gonna walk into me here, that'd be insane. Finish him off, perfect. I just needed anyone to walk into it uh, in that scenario. I'm gonna loop around all the way here, see if they walk into here and just walk into the bush. I'll go for anything there, unfortunately. Just looking for, like, good picks. Excuse me, like... Where did my auto attack... I don't... Okay, that's a bit of a weird one. I, I thought I clicked the hacker room, like, several times, but my auto attack just did not want to go off there. Interesting. I'm a bit... Con I, I, I'm a bit confused about what just happened to me there. Like, actually, like, I... Obviously, I died, and I probably inted in some type of way, but I'm just not sure how I inted that. Because I felt like I auto-attacked him, but my auto-attack didn't go off. That's, like, my experience in that one. It just didn't go off, and then he just killed me. Very weird. Extremely confused, but sure. Whatever. I mean, now I have a shield bow, so if he dives on me, I'll never die. It's fine. I get the lifesteal from it, the sustain, I get the shield as well. It's all good. I'm just extremely confused at that last situation there I, I don't know how about to tell you i entered i mean i can tell you that much but i don't know how i entered that <laughs> i did something wrong at least look at my damage man it's absolutely wild damage <laughs> these crits are gonna delete them off the map i just need some armor pen i think they'll start to build some armor items soon i would imagine i need to just clear the ward here I want to go for this red buff. Light it out. I would... Dead, perfect. I was not really trying to get the kill there because I don't particularly want the kill in that situation. I. You me did mess up my smite though, which is not the, not the best. I don't particularly want to kill in that situation due to me already having 17 of them. If my Aatrox can get it there, I'm pretty happy with that. 
Uh, here you want to not tank the Baron. Because I'm obviously the, the strongest member on our team. I do the most damage to Baron. So I don't want to tank it. Because whoever tanks Baron does 50% less damage to Baron. So that's something to avoid. Probably should walk up here. Cut off the Hecarim from this side. Look at that damage, by the way. <laughs> Why would you flash for that Aatrox? Are you serious? Right, don't go for the Blitz here, because I would get murked potentially. Don't disrespect too much. Like, I just have to like be somewhat respectful. Ult there for a bit of damage. Just flash the Urgled Engage. Can I move? Holy moly, can I move? 3.8 seconds CC. Got them. Okay. That's a bit, a bit much, I will have to say. Good target focus from their CC on me. Like, Blitz R for the silence. The Urgle flip was timed perfectly. Hecarim ulted me too, apparently. I don't know about the last one, but... That was a beautiful CC look. Like, that just sucks for me. I guess I might have to go... I don't really want to go Mercs, to be fair. Yeah. I just don't have tenacity. That's a lot of CC. The, the silence is also annoying. Okay. I need to respect it a little bit more, because getting blitz hooked is definitely a death sentence, and apparently I just they just have very, very good CC lock capabilities on me. Or like, I know they have it, but they played it well as well. Like, they CC lock me beautifully. So, I need to be a little bit more respectful of that. Ekrim got the kill on... No, sorry, who killed me? Uh, no one, apparently. Doesn't say in the chat who got my shot down, at least. Okay, sure. Our next item is going to be the uh, Lord Dominix. Okay, interesting. I will I'll play a bit safer for the next fight. I'll try to uh, at least not get Blitzhooked. I'll go aggressive when Blitzhook on, is on cooldown. At that point, it's playable. Good damage. Uh, Yasuo is probably dead. I want to give my team blue buff here as well. I do not want to disrespect Blitzcrank Hook again. Okay, yeah, there it is. Ah, I need to respect this. This is going to be way too much. My Braum is not in the optimal position to assist me in that situation either, so I just have to be very careful. Oh, that's bad. That is really bad, actually. Okay. Mm-hmm. If I get Blitz, we've got to die. I really need to be careful. That's fine. Hook the Bram. Like, let him hook the Bram instead there. Dead, right? Perfect. Finish the turret. I, I bait the hook there, and then I just let Bram get hooked instead, because Bram ideally wants to be in melee range. So I just use my E to dodge. I just, that needs to be my priority. As long as I get that done, it's pretty free from that point. I just... No! I'm trolling... Oh my god, that's such a rough CC. Okay, I'm not doing this anymore. I am not doing this anymore. Mercs, come to me. I need you. This is disgusting. I am going to go for the Mortal Reminder, I think, instead of the Lord Dominix because of the healing reduction. They don't... I think it's better in this situation. Just having extra healing reduction is never a bad thing. All right. That was a beautiful, uh, beautiful engage from them. I need to really respect it better. I'm dying a lot lately. This is not good. Just 5v5, it's free. Just, like, we get Baron, we get Dragon. Clean it up nicely. Should be fine. Should be, at least. I'm also getting Mercs now, because apparently I need Tenacity, man. Like, I'm getting absolutely obliterated here. Yeah. It's gonna, like, take a bit... Uh, I'm gonna take a bit more damage from, like, Urgold and stuff. Oh, please, Aatrox, what is that? No, 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 no. Okay, this is bad. He just, like, died for no reason again. He did it earlier, too. Don't go in! Don't go in! You are a monster. Oh, my God. You almost entered, like, five times there. <laughs> I didn't want to go for the Urgold here, really, if I can. I'm going to go top as fast as I can. I think, like, Urgold's going to think they're just going to be here. And I just move. Oh, that's not a good teleport, man. I was about to kill him. You are an absolute monster, Aatrox. Let's himself get Urgold ulted, to too. Slow. Finishing with one auto attack. That should be game. The teleport is not good there because I was just walking into him there. And I would have uh, like a, a 
a line on him. If he starts insta sprinting away because of the teleport, then that would not be good. I need to move quickly now. Now he's also like we're also like a man down. He doesn't have a teleport. It should be fine though. This. We just hit the turret down here, and then we just hit the nexus down here as well, and we just end the game. What a. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a weird one at the end there, but that's it for Graves, though. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure the like button below helps me quite a bit. And uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. All right, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 34k damage. Below Jinx, this makes sense because obviously that last team fight I wasn't in. I uh, went to kill the Urgold on top lane, like just get the one big target by himself for free. And uh, Jinx, like, obviously got, like, the general team fight, so she got a bit more damage in there. Obviously, also, it's an AD carry that skills very well, Jinx does. So, it's not unexpected to get out damage there, but still, solid damage, not too bad. I entered a little bit at the end, probably should have done a bit more damage, but it's fine. Uh, true damage at 1500, we have objective damage at about 55k. I was on top of this for as much as I could be, at least. So, like, even though, like, some things were going wrong, um, I still made sure... That in any situation that went wrong, I was still able to take the objective and like take the dragon, be on top of like the void grubs, etc. To just have the consistency from that. Uh, so they can't actually take it back. Like you, it can't go wrong. You die in a play and then they take an objective from you at the same time. That that would be bad. So you want to avoid that. Uh, damage taken, 28.8. Uh, Self-mitigated, 21.4. Gold earned at 18k. Pretty solid. Uh, for the runes here, Fleet healed me for 3,500. A uh, Triumph for some extra HP restoration. Alacrity for the attack speed. Kuda Graf for some extra bonus damage. Sudden Impact for bonus damage. And then Relentless Hunter for the movement speed. Uh, the Relentless Hunter is a combination with Opportunity. Uh, this will pretty much give you, well, the similar type, if not more movement speed, basically, than the Ghost Blade used to give you. So you can still use that quite effectively. And the Opportunity obviously also has the Extraction passive. It's showing the... Uh, the the hubris ones for some reason but it has the extraction passive that if you get a kill you get 150 movement speed to either you know chase or get out which is just very good chasing potential as well so every kill you get it's gonna snowball and snowball it's very good it's also good burst damage for the extra lethality it gives so yeah this is the build setup very crit based with an early item like an early focus on lethality with opportunity for a cheap item into then crit transition with lethality through collector and then full-on crit with the infinity edge buffs and then Shield Bow, generally speaking, because it gives you more survivability into Mortal Reminder, Lord Domix. Um, I switched back to Mercs here at the end because their CC locking was getting a little ridiculous. So, yeah. You can also take the uh, Tenacity instead of the Alacrity here if you want. And you can take the Tenacity in the small rune as well if you feel like you're playing against a lot of CC stuff. And that can end up being very valuable for you. But with all that being said, that was it for Graves. Uh, I upload daily, so be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.